Okay, for this project, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. I'm using a few different um, colors. Um, of course, you can use any colors you want, but medium time, mine. Um, this one doesn't have a tag, but it's actually a uh, cafe latte. And then this one's Red Heart with Love. I mean, you can use all the same or all different yarns. It doesn't matter. But And this one's called Daffodil. I just like that yellow better than the other yellow that I had. So. And then I'm going to be using a size J, 6 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm also going to be using a size H, 5 millimeter crochet hook. And this should be just about standard. This should fit a, uh, just about any standard size coffee cup. But if you have one that's kind of funky looking, you might want to measure around it like that. So you want to start out with two strings at the same time. And this is just going to be the only time that I use two strings. I'm not going to use two strings for the flower or the leaf, but just for the base part of the cup holder. Two strands and your big hook, your six millimeter. And you want to start out with a chain of 28. And without twisting your chain, I'm going to slip stitch into the first one to form a ring. Like that. Now I want to make a chain one, a loose chain one, so I can go back into it later. Now I'm going to work my way around, putting one single crochet in every stitch. So just like this. One single crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. Okay, when you make it back around, I want to slip stitch into that first um, that chain one that we did. And I'm not going to continue going this way. I'm actually going to chain one and turn. And now I'm going to go back around this way, putting one single crochet in every stitch. And I'm going to be starting in the very next stitch. So we chain one, so not this very, very first one right there, but this one. And I'm going to start by going across. Again, putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until we get back to the other side. You make it back around again and again you want to slip stitch into that chain one like that chain one again and turn and now we're going to work back again the same way putting one single crochet in every stitch after this round we'll start leaving a slit for the handle so I'm going to continue around putting one single crochet just like this in every stitch until we get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it all the way back around. Now instead of slip stitching to close around, what I'm going to do is just chain one and turn. And this is, we're not going to slip stitch now and it's going to start leaving a little slit there. And then we start again, putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way back around. By not slip stitching, it's going to just leave that little spot that we need that the coffee cup handle will grow through. So one single in every stitch all the way back around to the beginning. Back around to the other end, make sure you go into this chain one here and do a single crochet. And now we're not going to connect again. I'm just going to chain one, turn, and go back around again. And I'm just going to keep doing rounds like this. So I get it a little bit larger. One single in every stitch and I'll meet you back around here. Get it back around again and again you have to make sure that you go into this chain one space from the previous row. Chain one and turn and I'm going to go around again. Another row of one single crochet in every stitch. I'm actually going to do this a few more times without 
connecting it and I'll let you know how many more times I do that. Okay, I went ahead and did a total of where the opening starts, seven rows of where the, where the opening starts. So it was two below it and then seven where the opening starts. And now I'm just going to close the opening up by, I just finished my last single crochet here. So now I'm going to jump over and slip stitch into the chain one space on this side. Or the first single crochet, whichever one you can, is first for you. Should be that, should be a chain one there. And just go ahead and slip stitch into it like that and chain one and turn now it's connected and now we're just going to go across one more time putting one single crochet in every stitch and when you make it when you make it back around after that row you just want to slip stitch in the first and that first slip stitch and then we will tie this off and hide the tails from this stuff and then I'll show you how to add the flower and stuff if you want to do that. If not, I mean it works the way it is right now. But I'm going to go ahead and hide these tails real quick. Okay, now, you, now you're going to slip it to whatever side you like better. But I guess they both pretty much look the same. But I'm going to set this aside for now. And now I'm going to start on the flower. I'm going to be using my um, five millimeter crochet hook now. So I'm just going to make an easy flower. If you want to use a different flower, that is fine too. So I'm going to start with a long chain. of 22 and once you get your chain of 22 I'm going to double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook and I'm going to do that twice two double crochets in the fourth stitch from the hook like that now I'm just going to work down the chain putting three double crochets in every stitch three double crochets in each stitch for the entire length of the chain and it'll start curling up on you and stuff but that's okay that's what we want this is just a quick and easy way to make a rose now like I said you can do any kind of rose that you want so I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting my three doubles in every stitch for the length of my chain. Okay, once you get to the end you want to cut a long tail. And what I do is kind of untwist it, make it twist the other way because we're going to start down here on this end where the tails are. So. Okay, now take one of these strings here, one of these tails, and I'm going to use my yarn needle. And I'm just going to kind of sew this up to make it look like a flower. And you got to just kind of play with it but to get it to look right. So I just start, and I just do it a little bit at a time. like that and then I'll come back here and put a little stitch to hold it this is just practice doing it this way kind of twist it a little bit flip it over stitch there to hold it or a couple stitches if you need to and I just keep going around like that Flip it over, 
put a stitch in it. Like that. Over. Stitch in it. And you gotta kind of mess with it at the end too to get it to kind of look how you want it to. There. I know it probably looks kind of awkward the way I'm doing it, but it really is easy. Just. messing with it until you get it to look how you want it to look. That's all there is really to it. Mm. Kind of like that. And I'll probably mess with it a little bit more. Put a few more stitches in it here and there to, to get it sewed up. Right? But I'm going to set that aside for now. So you got the basic idea how to do that. Um, and now for the leaf, it's really easy. I'm gonna make, you're gonna need to make two of them. Same size needle, five millimeter. You wanna start off with the chain. Of eight. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet in the next one after that, half double crochet in the next one after that. Now we're going to put a double crochet in the next one, a double crochet in the next one, and then you'll have one stitch left and we're going to go ahead and put six double crochets in that last stitch. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Now we're just going to work on this other side of the chain. So in the next stitch, not this one, because that's where we put the six doubles, we're going to put a double crochet. And the next, the next stitch after that is a double crochet. And then one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So one half double there, half double on the next, half double on the next. And there'll be one stitch left, and you want to put a single crochet in that one. And now what you want to do is come right over here to the very first single crochet and slip stitch. And that is how to do a quick and easy leaf. You want to tie up a long tail so that we can sew it on with. And you want to make two leaves the same. Now all it is is just sewing this stuff on. So here's my crease. So I just fold it right at the crease. I'm going to sew the stuff on right here. You can kind of sew it in any way that you want. I mean, in any design that you want. So, probably just sew, kind of sew my leaves there. Maybe my flower up on top of them. So, it's whatever you think. It doesn't have to be perfect. But to sew, I'm just sewing them like this. Right directly on. I'll just go all around the outside of the leaf until it's sewed on. I'm going to do that with both leaves once I get them where I want them to be. Pretty easy. So I'm going to go all around this leaf, sewing it on like this, and then I'll put my next leaf where I want it to go. I might make it overlap a little bit like that. But I'm going to get it sewed on too. Okay, I got my leaf sewed on. Now I'm just going to pick 
where I want my flower to go. It's really up to you. And I'm just going to sew it on the same way. Set it right here and start going through and sewing it all around. Until it, I'll probably stick it right, make the needle come up through the rows like that. Yeah, and then back down through again. Just want to do it enough so it doesn't come off. I'll make it come up through the petals. You can move them all around because you can always straighten them up later. So. And just sew and sew it all around until it's sewed on there nice and tight. Move the petals around and go up under there. Back down. So I'm just going to keep doing this until it's all tight. And then I have this other tail here to hide. And then I'm going to do one more thing after that. I'm going to make a little stem. Okay, one last thing I'm going to do is, is I have my yarn needle and a piece of my green. And I'm just going to embroider a stem from like right here out here a little bit just for looks and I'm not the greatest at embroidering anything so don't expect and don't expect like it to look awesome I'm not expecting it to but just take it and from the center of your leaves here and I just go back and forth Embroider a stem. You can make it curvy or whatnot. You can have make it have little thorns off of it. It's up to you. But I'm gonna work work on it for a little while and bring it all the way out here so where it's it's visible. It takes a little bit of patience to do it, but you can make it curvy or straight. It's up to you. You can see it kind of starting to come out now. hands are probably getting in the way. So you can kind of see it now coming. I'm going to kind of make it um, curve a little bit just by pulling it up a little bit. But you do yours how you want. So I'm going to keep working on my stem and I'm going to make it come out to about here. Okay, that's that's all there is to it. I'm going to embroider a stem. It's not really that good, but it works. But that's it. It's real easy. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you make this you can always post a picture of it uh, to me on the Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box.